All right, so final part. I'll talk for, for I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. I'm done here, guys. I'm going to enjoy the show with you guys, and after that, I might I might rest in my bed, listen to music. I might go take my one-hour, my 15-minute walk. Lose this weight, right? Yeah. I'm going to tell Peter Jackson nor Mel Gibson to put money into a private IMAX theater. I'm like, Peter, I recommend you put money into like a $2 million. If you're cheap, you can put money into a $500,000 private IMAX theater system. Theater room in your in your, in your house. Oh, I even think. Never, I, I never thought about that before. Yeah, yeah, Peter. You can afford it. I recommend you do that. That way you get a, you know, put a good maybe 10 seats in there, 15 seats in there. And you have you invite all your family members and they watch a movie together with you. Your grandkids, your kids, and son. Yeah, because Peter can afford it, and you're also going to get paid a shield of money for the movie. Yeah, he can easily afford it. He's a multi-billionaire. Mel can afford it, too. He's worth like $400 million. Obviously. And all the Hollywood actors are going to put money into a theater system for their house. They're probably going to, you know what I'm saying, they'll probably put maybe 10 k into a theater system, like like Neil Tusa's theater system, John Campion's theater system in, in their house. Yeah, something high-tech like that. Because they're all multi-millionaires. They got paid, too, right? Yeah. And guys, for the documentary, I'm going to keep saying this, man. You guys are, for the George Lucas documentary, right? Um, for the documentary, for the movie, you're looking at a worldwide frenzy. All the beers will be sold out. A lot of, all the, the, the restaurants, grocery stores are going to be busy, man. Hence why I recommend, if you want to drink beer for my doc and uh, drink beer for my doc, you know what I'm saying? I recommend you get your beer like a couple days before. You don't want to wait till till, till the frenzy, man. The, you have this count on the documentary is ready ready to be released in two hours. Everyone's everyone on the world's excited. They don't want to get their food for the George Lucas documentary. They want to get their food. They're gonna order food. Yeah, get popcorn, get food. Yeah. Especially the movie documentary, they're gonna want to get popcorn and like pizza and like hamburgers and like mcdonald's and all that stuff wendy's and then shawarma and subway and all kinds of food chicken yeah that's why your best bet if you really want to get food i recommend you buy store-bought food that way you don't have to worry about the restaurants being busy man all day sorry guys we're busy we have like 300 customers we can't take any more orders because they have they have they have a capacity yeah guys we have like 400 customers right now we're busy we can't take any more orders hence why you know, oh, fuck, man. You know, yeah, I recommend you guys try the grocery store. They go to the grocery store. The grocery store is, is packed with, with, with people because they all, they're all excited to watch my documentary for the George Lucas documentary and the movie documentary. It was something crazy. Will the frenzy be crazy for the movie or doc? The doc. Because the doc, I'm releasing it. I'm releasing it. It's available to watch for everyone around the world on that very same day. Whereas the movie's not arriving in everyone's house on the same, on, on that, on the same day. Some people will get it two days earlier. Some people will get it a week earlier. Some people will get it two weeks earlier. So it's not as crazy. It's still a crazy frenzy. But the doc is fucking crazy. Because it's available for everyone to watch at the same time. So I'm saying, huh? That's my point. How crazy, Ivan. Even the celebrities are going to have to put up with the frenzy. They're going to be excited too. Yeah, my son of God, man. They're going to be excited to watch my documentary too. Yeah. And they're all pissed off. Fuck, man. I should listen to Ivan. Like, I don't know. They wait. They wait until the doc gets released. There are all the celebrities and their families and then wives and girlfriends are all excited to get food too. And they they make all these calls. <laughs> and all the restaurants in Los Angeles are all booked, man. They're all sorry, guys. We're busy. And they they go to the grocery store to buy food. And even the grocery stores are packed. You know what I'm saying? Some of them are like, oh fuck it. I'll I'll just eat food. I'll just eat food what I have at home. Yeah. But for a documentary, everyone wants to get fast food, man. No one wants to get grocery store food for the documentary. Obviously. For the movie, you can get popcorn, obviously. Popcorn in your candy, whatever it is. Buy your popcorn at the store, obviously. But most people are probably going to get... Uh, a lot of people will get popcorn for the movie. It's a movie, right? But some people want to be more fancy. and They want to get, like, pizza. They want to order pizza. They want to get McDonald's. They want to get Wendy's. They want to get Burger King. 
and when I get um, AMWs. I'm sorry? They want to get uh, shawarma. They want to get chicken. Popeyes are going to chicken. They want to get, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, people are also going to want to get beer too. And the beer store is going to be sold out. Because you're looking at the whole world watching my dog, man. It's been crazy. Yeah, the industry world, right? Yeah, it's been crazy, man. It's been fucking crazy, yeah. That's so why I'm telling you guys in advance, man. Like, listen to me. If you don't listen to me, you're going to face the consequences. If you wait till the very day when my dog gets released to buy your food and get your beer, chances are you're going to be pissed off as you're, 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 the beer might be sold out or you might have to wait in a long fucking line and it might, the beer might be sold out. The liquor might be sold out. People are not going to get liquor. I get you drunk, but the beer might be sold out and the, the food stores are going to be booked, man. Every food store will be booked. Some Sarah. All, all the, the fast food restaurants, restaurants you can think of in your city, will be booked. Because you're looking at the whole world watching the documentary. They'll, they'll be packed, man. Hence why I recommend you get your beer a couple days before. So if you're someone who, if you have a big beer collection in your house, then you're good. As a lot of celebrities probably have a big beer collection in their house. They have a bunch of beer, obviously. So if you have a bunch of beer in your house, then you're good, obviously. But for the food, you want to order your pizza or something like that. You got to make sure you do it fast, right? Yeah. As quick as you can. But the food's out of my hands, man. Like, if you want to order food, it's, if they're booked, I'll, if they're booked you, you, hopefully you find a place where they have food available. Which they probably will, but it'll be booked. That's my point. Give me a sec, guys. I got to go use the bathroom. We'll be back in a second. Wait, no, a second.
almost on this video, guys. Yeah, that's why I recommend you guys listen to me, man. I'm, 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 I'm looking out for you guys, man. I don't want you guys to, to be pissed off on the day of the documentary. You want to order your pizza. All the pizza places are, 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 are booked. Even the ones that are not that popular will be booked because everyone will be desperate to get food. And, 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 and the people will tell them, hey, man, try the grocery store. And the grocery stores are all packed. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? People want to get beer at the beer store. It's sold out. You know what I'm saying? Try the grocery store. It's sold out the grocery store. Yeah, it's something crazy, man. The people are going to want to drink beer from my documentary, too. Obviously. Not get drunk, but like they want, they're going to want to have maybe six beers while they watch my doc. Which I'm going to do. I'm going to have my six beers. Are you going to order food for your doc? Yeah, I'm going to order the food. Um, even Uber Eats will be busy too, guys. Something crazy. Yeah, man. Like delays. Yeah, man. Something crazy. Yeah. What do you want to eat for your doc, Ivan? For my doc, I'll probably order Domino's Pizza. Some pizza for myself. I'll get like Domino's Pizza. For the doc. Obviously, what I'll do is I'll, uh, what I'll do is I'll ask for VIP for my pizza. How are you going to do that, Ivan? You offer the, uh, the driver a big tip and he, and, and, and you, your order becomes a priority. Hey, look guys, I'm willing to tip you guys. I'm willing to, I'm willing to tip your driver a nice, like $100, $150 tip. Obviously. So I can, so I can be a priority, obviously. So I'm saying, I, if, if that works anyways, yeah. Obviously, the food you can't control, but the beer you, could, you, you, you can't control. You can get it a couple of days earlier. Whereas the food, you have no control over that. Because, because, because you can't order. No! Mo most, most fast food restaurants, you, you, you can order in advance. If you want, yeah. Like pizza places, you can actually order in advance a couple days before. You can do that. Yeah, I recommend you guys do that. Order in advance, which I probably will for my movie, for, for my documentary. Yeah. But I should say that. Yeah, so Peter, I'll pay him his 85 million base for the movie, for his Zane's movie, the $1.250 million budget movie, and I'll give him $425 million of the, of the box office, and $90 million of the merch. And Mel, I'll pay him $230 million. For the box office and fifty-six million dollars for the for the base and thirty-five million dollars for the merch. So I'm sorry, that's my deal for those two directors. The question is which director is better, Peter or Mel? Obviously. I might have you guys vote. But I know I actually know. But something tells me most of the fans are gonna tell me Ivan, go for Peter. Because Peter's a Ivan, you're fucking crazy, man. Peter did Lord of the Rings, man. He's a he's a fantasy guy. Go for Peter. Yeah, you're right. But what if I regret it and uh, I should have chosen Mel? Well, I'm scared if I choose Mel, I might regret it too. I should have chosen Peter because Peter's a fancy guy. That's why you have to have those who compete for the job, obviously. So, Sarah, you have to do that, man. Yeah, man. I'm sorry. It's already 8 o'clock, holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously. But Peter has a good writing team. He has Fran and Philip Boyens. And they're talented writers. They're good for fantasy. When it comes to other stuff, they may not be that good. As Mortal Engines, I heard, was a terrible movie, obviously. But Philip Boynes and Fran also wrote The Hobbit. The Hobbit was pretty well written, but it wasn't as good as the, uh, as the Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings was better written than The Hobbit. But The Hobbit had very good writing. But the, the movie just wasn't executed well. It was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was pretty bad. It wasn't that good. It was, it was, it was okay. Yeah. For, that's why you know Peter's talented. Even though he winged it, you watch Unexpected Journey and, 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 and Desolation of Small, they were pretty good movies. 
It's the third movie where you can tell his wing had come up to him. The, the movie wasn't that good. It was pretty bad, man. The war was terrible. And, 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 and I don't like that hardcore computer look. It just doesn't look nice, man. It looks too. It looks a bit fake. Too much of CGI can make your world look too computery. It looks a bit fake. Same time, your world looking too natural can make it look a bit fake in GT2. That's why you need to mix both. I'm like, Peter, I don't want Aerotat looking like your fucking... Peter, I don't want Aerotat looking like your fucking Azov orc in the hobby. I'm sorry. Yeah, man. I'm sorry. Look, I know Peter's in. I, I guarantee Peter's gonna push for a full. CGI air attack, I'm like, Peter, no, man. Like, I don't want full CGI air attack. Mel, I don't want full CGI air attack. You don't want CGI in your movie, Ivan? Are you crazy? I'm like, no, Peter. Uh, I'm putting hundreds of million dollars worth of CGI. But I, you need, I want to mix it. What do you mean, Ivan? Okay, I want air, the air attack actor wearing the mask and costume. Like, that That would be an Annabelle. Like, this this video here, I post on my Twitter page. And we apply the Visual Rex towards that way he looks more natural. And he, he, he also looks amazing. You mix both of it. Oh, Ivan, you want to mix it. Yeah. It's like mixing your Hobbit look with your Lord of the Rings look. You mix two of it. You bounce both of it. That way your movie looks very amazing, but, but it also looks very natural. Like those Chromecast pictures I posted. That's an, a good example of the one looking very natural, but also very amazing. That looks natural, but it also looks very amazing. I'm saying? Tell the way he knows. Or Mel. You have full power, Peter, but like I'm the studio head. You, when I tell you to do something, you have to listen to me. I don't want full CGI. Um, so I, you don't want Aerotech wearing the most in character technology. The actor, no, he's gonna wear the costume and the mask. He's acting on location with the costume and the mask, and we apply the visual effects towards that. So I'm saying, instead of him wearing the most in character technology, and he looks too computery and cheesy, like Azog, and that Goblin King, and, 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 and uh, who looked like he had herpes on his face. Remember that in Unexpected Journey? Yeah, it, lo it looks too cheesy computery. Compare the orcs in Lord of the Rings and the ones in, 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 in The Hobbit. The ones in the, the, the ones in Lord of the Rings look better. Obviously. The, the orc high in two towers look very, very good. They That one, they mix a lot of practical with visual effects for that one. Whereas the one in Return of the King, you can tell they relied more on natural, uh, natural practical effects. It looked maybe a bit too natural. I don't want them looking a bit too, too natural. Same time, I don't want him looking too, too computery. Whereas the crows, the eagles, the mosquitoes, the jaguars, that can be full CGI. That's fine. I'm sorry. As the actors for the crows and the eagles, the voice actors, they're going to wear the motion capture technology, obviously. The mosquitoes is motion capture technology. The jaguars is motion capture technology. Full, whereas the orcs, not the orcs, the, the wolves and bats, the mass wolves and the bats, they those actors wear the costume and 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 and, 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 and the what and 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 the mask. Here's the Ivan. Well, like Ivan, um, 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 if they wear the mask, they might faint. They might be too hot and also Yeah, yeah, Peter. We can we can buy we 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 can we can rent these big big fans. Every time, uh, every time that we that we finish shooting the scene. If they all gather near like the big fan and it, it, it cools it cools them up. You try to find a way to make it work. Cause Peter, I don't want like your full CGI fucking world, man. Like the Hobbit looked, it didn't it didn't look too good, man. It looked too computery. I'm sorry. Tell me the way he knows, man. Now, I don't want you filming volume two, volume three, and volume one simultaneously. No, you film volume one first. The actors have to prep mentally to face those horrific beings. We film all of Volume 1 first, and then we film Volume 2, and then we film Volume 3. I don't want you doing what you, what you do for the rings where you're filming everything simultaneously. No. You film one volume at a time. That way everything's organized. Everything's not all over the place, I'm sorry. 
Because there's nothing worse than filming a scene in the begin filming a scene in the beginning of volume one and you're sa- same time you're filming the war of volume three. The actors are gonna lose momentum. You can ruin the actors' momentum with their acting. Yeah, uh, I just finished the opening scene and now I'm filming the battle scene. And it's very unprofessional. Everything's disorganized. Don't do that. Film volume one first and volume two to volume three. I'm gonna tell people that. That way he knows. I'm like, guys, I'm not kidding around. I don't wanna be prepping for my agony scene when, 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 when I'm shooting volume one. No, man. Film volume one first, then volume two, then volume three, and I can prep myself mentally for the agony of the horrific devil beings. In volume three. That's why I wrote a masterpiece, obviously. So, Sarah? Yeah. How deep will it be, the agony? Think something deeper than the Passions of Christ, guys. Because every time I'm looking at, like, the, I show you that Twitter video, guys, right? Think something scarier than that. What you see in that video, that some, it's even scarier than that. Because I'm putting 203 million towards visual effects for each of the volumes, guys. And I'm pouring a lot of money towards the mass, too. The mass is horrific. And you're going to get better acting from the actors because they're actually seeing the demonic faces. I know what I'm doing. I'm Sarah? Yeah. I'm Sarah? Yeah. That's my point. I'm Sarah? Will Amazon be bothering you? Yeah, Amazon's gonna Amazon's constantly gonna be keeping tabs with my uh my producers. Um yeah. I'll have Fran and Barry Osborne handle the producing duties during during production. Um me, VJ, and Peter will handle a little bit of the producing duties, but we're gonna focus more on the creative. But Peter has to help me, VJ, keep track of the budget, how much money got burned, did everyone get paid? He's 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 a part of that, obviously, Peter Jackson. He's a part of the uh, the process of the producing team, yeah. During um, production, I'm saying as Peter had to keep tabs and all that too, because he could because he's he 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 he's an executive producer. So I'm saying Peter is an executive producer. That's why he had to keep tabs on that, even in Lord of the Rings. And he most likely signed the stars too, because he's an executive producer, yeah. So I'm saying. Yeah, Amazon will be bothering us a lot, though, man. I even how, I even how, how, because they want that money so bad, obviously, you know what I'm saying? They signed that deal with me and be with, with Sky Source. You know what I'm saying? I even did your photographers take pictures for the merch yet? Yeah, we're working on it. We're working on it. They're constantly bothering us. And chances are a lot of the executives, a, a, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the, uh, the suits, like Jeff Bezos might stop by and watch our production. He doesn't want to be left behind, obviously. He might stop by and watch production. His CEO boys might come by and watch production too. Because they're our partners for the movie, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Ivan, how's filming going? It's not bad. We're we're halfway through volume one. We're, we're, we're not we're not done yet, guys. Guys, relax. Like I know you I know you want this money this this money so bad because you're greedy pigs, obviously. Give me a, a year. My photographer's gonna take all the pictures, we're gonna send it to all you guys for the merch and everything. Some sire for the posters, for the mugs, for the clothing, everything. Some sire. Yeah, because even though Amazon's creating the merch, we're res- a Sky Source is responsible for taking all the pictures, the uh, the, the the graphic design pictures and everything for the clothings and 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 and, 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 the, and the posters, the four K Blu Ray case covers. We're, the, we're, we're, the, my photographers and the graphic designers are responsible for all that, but they're creating the merch. They're paying for the merch with their own money, obviously. That's the deal, obviously. And if you want me to pay for the merch, I am upping the amount to like eighty twenty seventy eight twenty two. Want to be greedy, sir? Yeah. Blood, sweat, and tears, man. Because I know I'm gonna get paid a lot of money. Yeah, VJ. All we gotta do is work our ass off for like one year. It's a lot of it's blood. All right, that's a lot of work. I know, but like, we know the end product will be so cool. A couple months after we work, we're gonna we're gonna get our first merch royalty check. Right, our fat royalty check for the merch. Yeah, and then we're gonna get our royalty check for the game and our royalty check for the movie. <laughs> yeah. 
A lot of money, yeah. So Sarah, that's why we're gonna work our asses off. I'm gonna, I'm a hard worker. I work really hard. Really, I even, oh yeah, I work hard. I'm a hard worker. My boss at Coco Food even told me I'm his hardest working employee. He told me, oh, Ivan, you're my hardest working employee, but the problem with you is sometimes you just don't listen. You, you make a lot of mental errors. But you're my hardest, you're my best employee here, Ivan. He told me that because I work hard. I slack off, obviously, sometimes too, sometimes too, obviously. Everyone slacks off. But I work hard, man. I'm a hard fucking worker. If I can work hard as a dishwasher making 800, 900 bucks every two weeks, you can only imagine how hard I'm going to work. Now that I'm a, I'm a, I'm a multi-billionaire, I sign as master with Amazon. I'm a fucking movie star. Being a movie star is a better job than being a dishwasher. It's a fun job, man. You're acting. You're a movie star. It's a sick job. It sucks because you work all day, but it, you know the end product will be fucking cool. And you know you're going to get paid. That's why everyone works hard, obviously. So, sorry. Everyone gets paid. They're all happy. They all work hard for you. And your wife. Yeah. So, sorry. The world will be going crazy for that movie. Oh my god, it looks be crazy. <laughs> You're looking at crazy world by Buzz for saying this or something crazy. Eritan of Demons, oh my god. Yeah. Something fucking crazy. Yeah. The Doc 2 will have crazy buzz too. And the game too. The world will be going crazy for that for that rapid walkthrough too. Yeah, man. Yeah. Not as crazy as the as the Doc and movie, but it'll have crazy buzz too the game. How crazy. I don't know. For my red carpet event, you're going to have fans with these billboards. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like kick the devil's ass. Kick the devil's ass. Kick the devil's ass. <laughs> yeah. Tack T, yes. Tack T, yes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 Tassa Tony, yes. Tassa Tony, yes. Tassa Tony, yes. Papari. Papari. Papari, you know, they cheer because they're fans of the book, obviously. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Lithia, Lithia. Yeah, they're cheering us on. Something crazy. How crazy? I don't know. Imagine the whole city cheering us on, man. Something crazy, man. You know, you have Independence Day? Yeah, I think something like that for, 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 for the Red Carpet event. The whole city packed cheering, cheering. It's so crazy that it's, it's such a big event. That they have, they have to close off the roads. That's how crazy it is, man. For, for, for my red carpet, the city has to close down the roads. Obviously. Hence why you pay Virgin Dark Resort a nice, like, tempo one million dollar deal. Because you're looking at something crazy. The whole city cheering us on. The, the whole hotel packed. And the red carpet event is an inside and out event. It's something crazy. It starts off inside. It leads out outside. It's like a three, four hour event. And after that, the actors get drunk. With me and my wife, they do like a six, seven hour party. All I can drink alcohol for the whole cast and crew at the, at the hotel. <laughs> it's been crazy. <laughs> VIP, inside and out party. It's been crazy, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's what my scars, my scars is coming. will blow out of the water. And last few days will be the best story told the most in picture. And it'll be, it'll even be all over the rings, man. People have told me, yeah, Ivan, I picture your story in my mind, all these scenes. This will, this will be right on my other rings. Yeah, he's all happy and excited. Yeah. And I'll see you this video. I'm Mayor. I'm signing off. Peace, guys. Bye. Talk to you soon, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.